So I thought this video could be kind of like how I changed my mindset to just become a more positive person. There was a point, I would say like 2014, 15, that I was like really negative. I was in a really bad headspace and I can't even pinpoint what was going on. But after that, I changed everything and I swear I'm like a completely different person today. So I just want to share. Good morning and happy Saturday. I am doing a video premiere right now of my activewear outfits of the week. So that is what you hear in the background. Leggings and they have pockets, which is great. I'm mixing up my drinks, Ultima for electrolytes and trying to decide which flavor of quote I want to drink. I am in the car and I am at my gym, one of my gyms, I have two gyms, and I'm going to go get some steps in, so let's go do that. Just did a little treadmill walk and now I'm off to a stretching session that I booked for free at this place. Um, so I would say like one of the first things that really changed my mindset that I really worked on was I had been kind of struggling with my weight for years and I'm not gonna lie like it's still not easy I'm still not right now where I want to be so like I do feel like I've kind of like yo-yoed throughout my life um, but right now I'm not like freaking out about it like I used to so back then I just like hadn't really found my passion for the gym like I had different gyms along the way and I just didn't really know what to do I didn't know what was best for me and it was all really confusing and I think I really let that get to me so I would say like a tip might be to try to figure out what you like to do for a form of movement and for me like just going to a gym and walking on a treadmill was really boring and it wasn't until I found CrossFit that I started to enjoy doing classes. They showed you what to do. They taught you all the movements. And then after CrossFit, I started Burn Boot Camp. And again, it's like almost like you have personal training, but in a group setting. Like they show you how to do the movements. They come around and check your form. You also have other people next to you cheering you on. So those two experiences really made such a huge difference in my enjoyment of working out and then working out brought me so much confidence that I couldn't even believe um, like just watching myself get stronger through these two types of workouts was so amazing and still to this day is amazing like right now I'm not really happy with the strength of my lower body but my upper body like oh my gosh <laughs> I can do 20 to 25 pound dumbbell bicep curls. I never in a million years would have thought that. I started back in the day doing five pounds and then I remember graduating to the eight pound and thinking eight was a lot. So like that me back when I didn't have strength training as part of my repertoire, I was just doing what I whatever I could do on my own. Like if that me then could see me now, like Oh my gosh, I never thought this day would have come. So that would definitely be my number one tip to start it off. Find a type of movement that you really enjoy and that motivates you and excites you or like whatever it is. And for me, that probably if I had to just give the one one tip that absolutely changed my life, I think it would be that. All right, so I'm at this stretch zone place. Let's get stretching. I just did my stretch session and I bought a package of four, but then I couldn't book one for anytime soon. So I'm a little disappointed, but whatever, it'll be good. Um, let me show you a tip. If you have a backup cam on your car, you're gonna love this. So see how it's like all wet? I'm gonna make it crystal clear, hold on. I have this squeegee that I got at Ikea for like one or two dollars. So now look. So much better. I got this It Cosmetics CC Cream. It's like the illuminating one. So while I put it on, let's talk about my next thing that I did to like change my mindset. So 
I started meditating and I used to do it every day at first and I didn't like back then have really good strategies for like regulating my emotions and regulating um like just how I was feeling during the day like stress and stuff I didn't really have specific tools for that so I ended up starting meditation and I started doing it because I couldn't sleep well at night like I couldn't fall asleep because I was like so stressed out that all I kept thinking as I was trying to fall asleep was like my to-do list or things that were bothering me so I did um YouTube guided meditations where I would just like turn my phone onto one by the honest guys and then just like let it run over the speaker um so I started doing that every night to fall asleep and I noticed that really helped um and then I ended up eventually getting the Deepak Chopra and Oprah app and I started doing their type of meditations so I was doing it consistently like back in the day and I noticed like a huge difference in being able to regulate my stress being able to like um kind of like in the moment when things would come up just being a little bit more balanced and I did when I was doing it back then I was pretty much doing it every day but now I don't anymore and like I know I still could and I would definitely get like serious benefits all right now I'm going into bronzer um I would definitely get like good benefits from it if I did do it every day but I feel like I like learned what I learned through doing it like still stuck with me so that even though I don't meditate like all the time I do every night like fall asleep to different hypnosis type things with like um abundance affirmations and everything but I feel like just like learning to like be more present or like take a deep breath when I'm stressed out and stuff like I feel like those things stuck with me so whether or not I'm meditating on a regular basis it's just overall better like I just am able to like handle things better as a result um and obviously these are all things like you have to do what works for you in your life that's one of the things that worked for me so that would be my second tip would be to try meditating and you can just do like you don't have to just sit there and like not think about anything you can turn on a guided one and just like follow along in your mind and just like try not to think about other things while you're meditating but like you're gonna think about your to-do list you're gonna think about something that's stressing you out and all you just do is like as soon as you realize you're thinking about it you're like okay like nope I'm gonna listen to what they're saying in the audio and I don't know that really worked for me um it was like the more I did it the better it worked and then over time now I don't even have to do it as much because it's like ingrained in me kind of but I mean if I again if I did do it it would be good all right got some Anastasia brow is action I could barely see I'm like at the worst angle right now um so right now I'm going to Fabletics it's April 1st so they're coming out with their brand new April collection so I don't know I don't always like do makeup necessarily but I had like oh I lost you sorry I had something in my hair hold on I just had something in my hair so I don't always really do makeup but I do like a little bit and because I got this new foundation I just really want to use it because I like it all right so I'm gonna hold on put my lip stuff on I got this Tarte lip plump um I did a live stream where I got this like I unbagged it it's seriously so nude 
it's basically the color of my lips. <laughs> a tiny bit darker. So yeah, we're gonna go to Fabletics now. Back at the car and we got the goods. So if you wanna see the full try on, you'll have to watch my Fabletics video, but I did get two outfits, a cheetah one, I mean, pink and green are like my favorite colors of all time for active wear and a pink one. And they actually mix and match really well. And excuse me, I'm burping, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to walk through Wegmans to get there. So I got my favorite lentil chips. These are aged white cheddar. They are delicious. I love them so much. And I decided because I love those so much to try the bourbon barbecue ones. I also got a built bar, but that's like the bag is way down there. Um, so fantastic Fabletics trip. And again, you should probably watch that video if you want to see all the outfit try-ons. We are going to have ourselves a little lunchtime mukbang with Chick-fil-A while we go over my next tip, which would be to start to listen to positive things. I started listening to self-development books and I got really obsessed. I have Audible and I prefer to listen to them. I don't like to read. I find it boring. I don't like to sit still. But with Audible, you can listen to the book in the car. So I've had an Audible subscription for like years and years and years. So um, one of my first books was You Are a Badass. Actually, that one I read, legitimately read. But I've listened to it as well. And I love it. I think it's awesome. So if you're trying to like pump yourself up to feel better about like I don't know maybe you feel like you're like not living your life's purpose or something you know that's pretty deep but a lot of people feel that way so I would highly recommend that book if that is you mm. I always get chick-fil-a sauce and buffalo sauce and like alternate and Maybe you like know what you want to do, but you're like scared to do it, right? Because it's not like the normal path. So You Are a Badass is a great book to like motivate you to feel like, you know what? I only have one life. I just have to go for it. Like YouTube, like maybe you don't have a channel. I mean, you probably, if you're watching this, you're someone who has a channel because hello everyone, I love you. <laughs> but... But like, maybe you have a channel and you want to do something different with it. So like on my YouTube journey, I started doing recipes because I really wanted a YouTube channel so bad, but I was like, oh, recipes is safe. But that's not what I really wanted to be doing. I wanted to be doing basically what I'm doing now, which is activewear reviews. Um... And I finally just one day was like, screw it. I'm just going to do it. Like I did one and I thought it went well. And I was like, all right, this is it then. So books like that really motivate me and inspire me and like give me the confidence because maybe people around you aren't pumping you up. Like I have a very supportive family and everything, but like, I don't know. I feel like for me, I need to find it in myself and a book like that can like remind me what I am capable of. This truck turned on next to me and I'm like, does he not know I'm filming? And I specifically turned my own car off. <laughs> Let's do a bourbon barbecue quinoa chip taste test. Here it is. Mm-hmm. That was good. Another book from early in my journey was Gabby Bernstein's The Universe Has Your Back. That one I loved. And I feel like that helped me. I'm having another meal of Be Good. Hey. Oh. 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 <laughs> Shoot. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh. Oh my God. You did really good. <laughs> so we did our cold plunge and now I'm making dinner. It's like 6.30 
and because I had such a late lunch, I'm not really that hungry at this point, so I'm just making some leftovers. So I'm making like a bean quesadilla. It doesn't look that appealing, but those are like fajita seasoned veggies and then black beans and obviously cheese. And I'm just doing a half, so I'm just gonna like cook it and then flop it over. I just finally finished making my Under Armour video. <laughs> if you didn't know, I'm a, an affiliate with them now. So I ordered some things. So I just finally finished making that because I was like such a hassle to get some of the items to me. Um, I feel like their sizing is a little bit off. I typically wear mediums in all activewear and like I'm definitely the higher end of medium and sometimes I do go to a large but like the mediums of some of the pieces wouldn't even go up to my hips and then the large like it just doesn't like compress to my body how I would want it to to feel like comfortable in a workout that it's not going to be like falling down so I don't know um I was really excited about this partnership and I still am, and I think I just need to find what works for me, but I haven't been like super impressed. I also had some issues with ordering and stuff. Um, I ordered some stuff to the store the night before and they never did anything about it. So I got there the next day and then they took 45 minutes to find five pieces. So I don't know, I'm not gonna judge, but <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, this is the last bra I was just wearing. Um, so another tip that I would have would be surround yourself with positive people. I definitely feel like the pandemic, like things helped to sort of like let relationships fall away that maybe weren't serving you, hopefully. But if you haven't really looked at who you're surrounding yourself with, that's going to make a big impact on your everyday mindset. If you have people that are being negative or gossiping or like even like maybe putting you down like I hope that's not happening but if that is then you probably need to remove those people from your life or at least set better boundaries with them so that's something where like for example at work my office is right off the main room so sometimes if I have my door open I'm like overhearing stuff and I know people have a right to vent but I don't necessarily need to absorb that. So if I just like don't wanna hear what's happening, I'll just close my door. So that would be something where like, now I'm a lot more aware of like the energy that's around me. And so I'm a lot more, um, I don't know, like I really set my intention. So I'm a lot more intentional, there we go, <laughs> that's the word. I'm a lot more intentional to make sure that I have more like positive vibes around me and again like you're not going to be incredibly happy every single moment of every single day and that's not real either like I'm not saying to be fake about it but at the same time like the more you can look at the positives of a situation the more you're going to see the positives of a situation or in other situations so I feel like it like snowballs like the more you're focusing on something the more that it's going to grow so whether that's positive or negative so definitely my tip there would be surround yourself with positive people and if you can't do that at least set boundaries to protect your energy so i filmed my outfits of the week i filmed the rest of my under armor video that is how i usually spend my sundays is filming i spend saturday and sunday filming usually some level of content creation um, so pretty soon I need to go to the store. I want to get some food for the week. I just want to do like a cold cut salad. Um, so I like to get boar's head buffalo chicken and then I'll get salad ingredients. I like black beans, corn, lettuce, tomatoes, maybe avocado or some guacamole or something. I really like those little like guacamole containers because it's easy. And I'll just like throw together a salad at work. I'm just feeling that like fresh freshness right now and I just really don't feel like cooking chicken the last time I cooked it it didn't come out good and so now I'm kind of grossed out um so I haven't really eaten much today I should probably eat some food maybe I overate yesterday so I just haven't been hungry because I had the chick-fil-a I had be good a salad because the chick-fil-a like wasn't enough and then I had the quesadilla at night 
So I wasn't like super hungry, but now that all my filming's done, I feel like I need a little something. So I'll do that. Then I will go to the grocery store, um, probably stop and shop, maybe Trader Joe's and just continue on my day. Kodia cakes, protein coffee, and live fit. Look what just came from CRZ Yoga. And I did not get sent this, I ordered it myself because I just absolutely love them. So I went to the store and then I went to Petco and the Petco is next to McDonald's and I saw someone eating an ice cream in her car and I got a vanilla cone. So, yep. And you know how like the machine is sometimes broken? I actually live right near two McDonald's and the other one, I feel like the machine is always broken. But apparently this one, it was working today. So, mm, so good. So I'm trying to think of other tips for you. I feel like those are like my biggest and best ones. Um, it just takes time. Like it's not, your mindset's not just going to magically change overnight. And you have to want to change it because for a while I thought it was cool to be sarcastic and like, oh, the glass is half empty. And like, I thought that people who were like, happy-go-lucky were like almost annoying but that was just a reflection of where I was at in my life and the more work that I did the more positive I became and now I sometimes have people say like I'm one of the most positive people they know which I mean they don't see me in all areas of life so that's easy to say I've had students be like are you ever mad like I feel like you never get mad <laughs> because like I really have such like an even keel personality at this point and like I'm always smiling I'm always trying to find joy I'm always trying to find happiness sorry this is bugging me so you have to want to make the change like genuinely from deep down want to make the change and then you have to work at it every single day and like I also noticed myself like I used to you know when you like have bad thoughts about yourself in your head um, maybe you think like you make a mistake and you're like, oh, that was so dumb. I'm so dumb. But like I started reframing my, my thoughts to like, oh, that was really silly. Like that was a silly mistake. It wasn't a dumb mistake. So the more you reframe those thoughts in your head and just like be nice to yourself and positive to yourself, it just snowballs like it just it takes time it takes effort every single day and not every day is going to be perfect and you also have to accept that too that like it's a journey and like it's okay to not be perfect in it so i don't know i really hope this helped you a little bit i love watching videos like this myself it just like motivates me and even like reminds me things that i already know that maybe i forgot about and i'm not doing so i really hope you enjoyed subscribe and I'll see you in the next video soon. Make sure to give it a like. Have a great day. Stay positive. Bye.